Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another at-home vlog with me. You guys seem to really be liking these videos, and I mean, I like filming them, especially now in quarantine. I'm just home. I feel like I'm doing so much more than I was before quarantine. I don't know if anybody else is feeling that, but I definitely am. So I wanted to do another at-home vlog. We have a few little things to do today. So I'm starting off with a little get ready with me. We're just gonna get ready quickly. Actually, I'm gonna start with some sunscreen. I've been meaning to talk about it in a video, now's the time, not sponsored at all. This is not a sponsored product. I actually owned this product for a while and kind of like forgot about it and literally never used it. Okay, so this is from Super Goop, which they're known to be like a sunscreen brand. This is their Defense Refresh Setting Mist with SPF 50 in it. So basically how I like rediscovered this product was I always like wearing sunscreen. Well, the tinted moisturizer that I use has SPF in it, but I haven't been wearing anything on my skin lately. This is the Giorgio Armani. This is their SPF 50. It's a skin defense primer, so it's like a primer. So I'll use that instead when I'm not using like a tinted moisturizer that has SPF in it. But I forget the primer a lot because like, I don't know, my brain, if I'm not putting on face makeup, I don't kind of think about putting on primer. So I was like, I wish I just had something I could like spray on top of my makeup once I'm done when I forget. Because I, for some reason, always seem to remember the SPF after I'm done my makeup. So this is a setting mist. It like leaves your skin all glued all gluey <laughs> it leaves your skin all glowy and dewy but it has the spf in it and it says it has water and sweat resistance for 40 minutes which is great for the summer so i'm going to spray this on first just to start off okay it doesn't have like the word it smells good but it's still definitely a sunscreen so i don't take like a deep mist like i usually do with like say my rose setting spray or something because it's a little bit intense Okay, now I'm gonna go straight into concealer. I'm really running out of this concealer. I need to do like, I was going to do a Sephora trip because our malls opened back up, but Sephora was still closed. So I might have to do like an online order of stuff because all of my like necessities, you know, like my everyday favorites are completely empty. Like this is so dried out by now. So I need to get a new one. So um, speaking of our mall open back up, I did go and check it out with my little handy dandy mask. Um, but I only went to one store. Surprisingly, I haven't been to the mall in forever. And then I went and I only ended up getting one thing. Um, it's still in the bag. I might as well just show you guys after my little get ready with me. I only bought three things from H&M. I really love H&M. They always have like the cutest little like collections that they do with people that I really, really love. Um, so yeah, I'll show you that. I might end up wearing like one of the pieces today. I have a little brush to these brows. Okay, another favorite that I'm running out of, like I'm literally squeezing it thin, is the Glossier Cloud Paint in Dusk. This is my favorite color. Well, actually, I haven't tried any other color, but I do really, really like this one. So I'll probably just end up getting the same one, maybe trying another color or something and just making an online order with them. Like I'm literally like, nothing's coming out. Hello? Please help me out. Okay, there we go. I just do a few little dots of that and blend it out as if my cheeks weren't already like red enough, but I really like doing this. <laughs> okay, so we're literally already almost done. I'm just gonna curl my lashes and add a little bit of Vaseline. I just honestly never wear mascara anymore since I've tried this trick. I found it on TikTok. I think I actually explained this in another video or something maybe, but I saw some girl do it on TikTok and I tried it once, got obsessed, and now I don't even wear mascara anymore because I hate when I wear mascara and it gets all underneath and I have to constantly like clean up under my eyes. This, I literally don't have to worry about anything. And I'm gonna put a little bit of this on my lips as well. <laughs> um, just add a little bit of gloss, a little bit of moisture. This actually, what is this brand? This was sent to me, I don't know what this is. This is from, Emily Corden. This is really nice. She gave me another one. It was like the rose one and it was light pink and I used the whole one up. So this is the other one. It's in the shade Pamela number 43. It's just like a clear gloss. One. Actually, you know what? Let's get a little crazy. Let's put a little bit of highlighter on. This is the Chanel sculpting stick. I don't think it has a color. I think there's just one color because there's nothing on there. I'm just going to do a little bit of that. Put some on my cheekbones. Why not get a little glowy look going on? And then I'm going to finish off with that little, um, the sunscreen spray just kind of dab that everywhere put it on the eyes i like doing that it gives like a glistening effect okay and okay let's spray okay so now let's make my bed it's been kind of bothering me that it's just like unmade in the background and i usually like to make my bed now in the mornings so i'm gonna make my bed and we can get dressed oh i'm gonna give you the little h&m haul the bag's on the floor. I remember that. So let's do that, make the bed, and then we can go about the day, I guess. Okay, so now for our mini 
to them haul. I just put them on hangers. Okay, so. Ooh. Okay, so these are the three things that I've got from H&M. Um, this was the first thing that I got. You're probably thinking like you got a sweater in the middle of the heat of summer. Is the exposure too high? Can you guys see that? I don't know. <laughs> My camera settings, I can't really change the settings right now, but this is a really nice knit sweater. The reason I bought this one was mainly just because it seemed like the perfect like the ultimate perfect white sweater. Like I could actually throw away all my other white sweaters and just live with this one and be completely fine. You know, I was looking at it and I was like, I don't need it right now. So I was originally not gonna get it. But I was like, when the first chilly day comes around, like I'm gonna regret and have buyer's remorse or like, isn't buyer's remorse the opposite when you regret buying something? I don't know. But I knew I was gonna regret not getting it because it's like the ultimate white sweater of everything I've been looking for. So, and I think it was only about $20, so it's worth it. I just really, really liked this sweater. Then I picked up this dress, which I may actually end up wearing this today. It was on sale actually for $22, and it's like this little shirt dress. Let me show you. It's got this gorgeous print. I'm trying to untangle it, but it does have this little belt to tie and cinch here. You know, I was attracted to it in the store and it was on sale. It was so pretty. It's definitely a little bit like out of my comfort zone. I normally don't wear things like this, especially with like loud prints or something, but I feel like this uh, style of piece is something I wear a lot. Like I like casual dresses, things that you can wear with sneakers. I feel like I have so many like dressy dresses that I try to wear them with sneakers and it just doesn't look right. Like it needs a heel or a strappy sandal or something. Thing. So I definitely wanted to get something like this and it's really nice and linen, which is good for the summer They thought I would try it out. I thought the print was really pretty and then the last thing I got was just this little like cream colored Jumper just like a little sweatshirt material very simple. I like when my loungewear is minimalistic like this I don't like when it has like stuff on it because then I feel like it's a little bit too distracting I wanted something simple and the other like white sweatshirts that I have all have either like hoods on them like hoodies or their zip up So I just wanted something simple like this just a little pullover to wear Whenever I need it whether it's at the beach and you just need something like at night to pull over or you know when fall comes around I don't know why I was apparently attracted to buying sweaters in that store, but I was. Okay, so that is my H&M haul. I've made my bed. Let's get dressed. I'm going to try on the dress. I may wear the dress, but I'm not sure yet. And then we can probably head out. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys the dress. Don't mind the mess in the back or my socks, but um, I wanted to show you guys the dress. It looks better than I thought in person. It is so pretty. Okay, yeah, so now this is the dress with it tied like in the back and I definitely think I like this a lot better. Okay, it's not as casual as I thought it would be. Like how I said I wanted like casual day dresses to wear with sneakers. This is definitely like way too cute. I would still wear this with like at least little strappy sandals or kitten heels or something. Um, but I like it a lot more than I thought I was going to. Like it is so, so pretty. I was a little bit worried because I never really wear things like this and this print, but I really like it. It's cute, but I'm not gonna wear this. I will pick something else out. Okay, so I'm heading over to my little garden area now to go water them because I like to do that. So I planted some hydrangeas like two weeks ago. Okay, so these are my hydrangeas. As you can see, they are a little bit crispy and a lot of drooping. Now, when I first planted them, for the first like two weeks, they were completely fine, like super perky, super gorgeous. And this just started happening like two, maybe three days ago. So I don't know if it's my problem. I planted them in partial sun, which is what the instructions said. And I water them every day that it doesn't rain. Is that what I'm supposed to do? Am I supposed to prune them as well? I don't know if I'm supposed to like let them weep and die and then the new ones grow back or do I have to prune them and like cut them off and then the new ones will, I have no idea. Yeah, the other one over here is like exactly the same. I don't water like the flowers. I water directly to the roots because I know that like that will burn the plant. So I try not to do that. But yeah, I don't know if it's my fault or if this is like naturally like maybe their season is over, but I see other people's houses that have the hydrangeas they don't look like this, so I don't know if it's like my fault or not. So if you guys could help me out, maybe like let me know what the heck I'm supposed to do, like if I did something wrong. But this is like my little area. I added a hammock. I got that on Amazon. I sit there and play Animal Crossing. And I also planted that one over there, which the day I planted it, like the next day I came and checked on it, and it had all these gorgeous buds on it. Actually, we can go closer. Let me show you. It had all these gorgeous little buds on it, and then like it instantly died. So yeah, I don't know... I have no idea. I need one of those like books like gardening for dummies or something. I'm new to this so I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, wow, it's really bright. But yeah, let me know what I'm supposed to do, if it's my fault, if I'm doing something wrong, if I'm skipping something, because I have no idea. 
okay we're in the car now i'm gonna head over to our little grocery store it's like the whole foods kind but it's not a whole foods it's like one of those mini just like the natural healthy food store i'm gonna go there and just get like a few little things that i can't get at the regular grocery store that i just am out of and need i really need to take my car for a car wash because i park it like under this really big like weeping willow tree and the birds you know just really make my car really dirty i need to do that i took it like a week ago but i need to do it again literally like the next day like it gets dirty but okay so we're gonna go to the food store pick up a few random things i may not vlog in the grocery store just because ugh, i don't know me vlogging in public it's not I hate it so I'm gonna give you probably just like a little haul of what I got or something when I'm back okay I'm back home now I'm gonna do a little haul show you guys what I got first off I did decide to get some flowers because I want to make like my own little bouquet today I have like the cutest little pot that I wanted to do something with I got these because they were really cool looking and they smell really really good i got some baby hydrangeas and then these are these carnations mom these white ones yeah uh, i think they are i can't tell daisies they look like daisies i don't know they're daisies yeah we're gonna make a little <laughs> cute little bouquet with those the first thing i got was this loaf of bread <laughs> it's called French peasant bread. It's just like a little loaf. They chop it up really good. I eat bread for practically every meal. So I thought this was nice to get. Okay, I've talked about this before. I think on my Instagram story, I drink grapefruit juice like all the time. And I got this, it's like organic, just pink grapefruit juice, no other ingredient, just simple, really, really good. This is good for you as well as it tastes good. So highly recommend. I decided to get some of these because I really like them. These are the Tate's Bake Shop, Southampton, New York, gluten-free chocolate chip cookies. They're really, really good. They're crunchy, but like super buttery because I normally don't like hard cookies. Like I only like soft, like warm, fresh baked kind, but these are like super buttery, so it makes up for it. And they're also gluten-free, which is great. Then I got some of this stuff. This is macadamia milk. I get the vanilla kind. So basically I've cut, not completely dairy because I still eat cheese, but I cut like milk, regular milk out of my like diet. So out of all the milks that I've tried, I like macadamia nut milk the most. I've tried soy milk, coconut milk, almond milk, I think that's it and then I tried this and it's really really good so I really like it this is what I use for my matcha lattes chai lattes whatever if I'm gonna have cereal which I normally don't even eat but <laughs> I got two of them because they're small they go pretty quickly but yeah this stuff is really good highly recommend if you are also um, skipping out on milk then to go along with the no milk little trend we have going on I didn't even know they had this well I knew they had it I've just never tried it before this is a like a non-dairy cream cheese I got it's called just like cream cheese and this is just the plain kind it's 100% vegan so I'm I'm gonna try this and see if I like it. It says it's made with soy milk and coconut oil. So I'll see if I like it and hopefully it's good. Then I picked up these two bad boys. We've got a little slice of Swiss cheese because I couldn't give up cheese. That was just way too hard. I really love cheese. And I used to not like Swiss. I'm starting to get into it now. I had like a really good brand and now I like it. So I've got this one. And then I've also got some of this, which is Scottish smoked salmon. I wanted to do like the classic sort of like bagel cream cheese with salmon on it. So I don't know why I was just craving it. And I got this time because I like the seasoned. It makes it a little bit better. Yeah in a bowl to wash them i also picked up some peaches and nectarines to eat i literally can probably live on peaches they're my favorite fruit of all time so i'm gonna give these a little rinse i'll probably have one of these now with some of my bread and cheese and oh yeah are we ordering pizza mom mm -hmm. yeah i'm gonna order pizza for lunch i'll have both it's okay <laughs> I got these, which are repurchased because I really like these. These are the brand Deep River. These are their rosemary and olive oil chips. I'm like a sucker for rosemary. I love anything rosemary flavored. And they're made with sunflower oil. They're like kind of healthy, but I mean, they're still chips. But these, I have never seen this flavor before, the sweet Maui onion, and it just kind of, I don't know, intrigued me. Maybe because I'm hungry right now, but I decided to get these two and try them. Um, and that is it for my little grocery haul. So now I'm gonna grab my little pot and my flowers and we can make a little bouquet. Pizza will be here. I'm gonna wash my peaches. That's all. <laughs>
bouquet I made, it's not perfect. We can pretend we were going for like a rustic approach, but <laughs> I only had the two hydrangeas, so I just put one on each side and then these, there are four of these, so I kind of like randomly spaced them. I wanted it to look like a little bit random and then these I just kind of filled up the whole center so I hope that that looks good I think this vase is super cute and I had some roses in there before but they died so I figured I would just get something else and refill it and I wanted like an actual like bouquet not just like all the same flower so I think that looks pretty good I like the white and green combo too so hi <laughs> um yeah Okay, so <laughs> I have not vlogged for like the past hour. Basically what I have been doing, also don't mind my dad power washing in the backyard, but um, I've been going through my closet. The lighting. the lighting is really bad in my closet. It needs like, anyways, um, I've been going through my closet and basically like picking out stuff that I kind of want to give away for my Depop. I do have a Depop, I just don't have new stuff on there right now so I've been just like looking through stuff that I want to try and just don't I'm not gonna wear just stuff I know I'm not gonna wear and somebody else is gonna get a lot more use out of it so I picked out a few things definitely not enough yet so I basically need to get a few more pieces and then shoot um, the photos but I'm probably not gonna do that today I might save that for tomorrow but here's what I got so far Literally almost everything is like new with the tags. I have these shorts that I actually just bought from naked But they just weren't fitting like the envisionment of what I thought they were when I bought them But they're still nice just not what I was going for but I'm bad at returning things I have a few like revolve pieces. I have this from lovers and friends. It's like a long strapless like a jumpsuit I have this mini skirt from Meshki. this I've had for like ever and I've literally only worn it once I have this Tommy Hilfiger sweater. I have this dress. What brand is this from? I don't know, but this has the tags on it. This Lacademy jumpsuit. It just doesn't fit me really well. And then um, this NBD pants. I mean, they're just basic black pants. I have a million of them, and these were new with the tags. So might as well throw those up on there. So I'm going to get a few more pieces, maybe at least like 10 pieces, and then I'll shoot them tomorrow. Yeah, when I did Depop um, last time, maybe only like a few weeks ago, it did really well. Like, you guys really liked it. So I figured I would do it again you know but the sun is starting to go down now i was gonna like lay out in the sun but then it kind of got cloudy um i did put my little pajama set back on and get comfy but i ate my pizza outside but then like i said my dad is power washing now so he's doing like the whole back deck so that'll look really nice okay so little update on my day i was able to even with the cloudiness get a little bit of content in i was just able to do like one little shoot um but see like the sun is nice like right now it comes in and out in like waves so you have to like quickly shoot in like the one minute that it's here but for dinner i think i'm gonna make myself some pasta and i'm probably just going to relax the rest of the day edit this video eat my dinner and that's probably going to be it for the rest of the day so that is it for today's vlog i have mentioned this before i don't like vlogging when the sun goes down because i can't stand bad lighting like i only film with like natural real lighting so the sun is setting now so i'm just going to tell you the end of my day that's how it's going to go i hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog make sure to subscribe to my channel to see more vlogs obviously like i said i will be doing more of them and also some fashion videos and more hauls and stuff like that make sure to check out my social media and my instagram and all of that stories more inside my personal life and yeah I love you guys so much, and I will see you in my next video. Mwah.